Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So for today's video, I thought we would explore living a slightly different way of life in The Sims 4. Inspired by one of my earlier videos where I made a video where the entire family had to live off just a child's income. And it got me wondering what it would be like if an entire family had to live not just off of a child's income, but if the whole household was ran entirely by a child altogether. So that's what we're doing today. This is our family, two adults, a toddler and a child. This is arguably the main star of the show, Saskia. She's currently doing her homework right now like a good girl. This is her mum, Denise, her dad, Todd. They're happily married, you know, they're nice enough. They've got their interests. Denise loves reading. She is a bit deluded. She thinks she's going to be a writer someday, but never really amounts to anything. So she doesn't really bring any income to the house. But, you know, she's got the passion. That's the main thing. And then we've got Todd. He doesn't really have any interesting hobbies like reading or anything, but he is lazy and a glutton. And they didn't have a trait for it, but he's also the type of guy who, like, tries to make up diseases and says that he suffers from all these different illnesses that stop him from being able to get a job, you know. He's an excuses man, you know? So neither of them are bringing in any income. Probably they'll lose their house if someone doesn't step in and do something. So yeah, I mean, these two, they're not bad people. They're just shit parents. One of them's very lazy, the other one's severely deluded. Which by my standards makes them pretty good people compared to the other sort of parents I usually play with. And then we have our toddler, Jerry. Jerry's a good kid, you know, he minds his own business, but of course he is just a helpless toddler, he does have needs. So, how do I plan on doing this? Well, as a favour, I have loaned this family 50 simoleons just to get them through today, just so they can eat. But Saskia is going to be making money. There aren't too many ways that children can make money in The Sims 4, but I'm thinking maybe we could do a bit of dumpster diving. If we can make enough money to save up and buy something, I think probably a YouTube station would be good. Got a little area here where we could pop it. We have the kitchen area, which the door is locked for everyone other than Saskia. So I do have a mod installed that just lets me cook anything I like with a child sim. So in fact, you know what, Saskia? Maybe it's brunch time. Let's get you cooking something. Let's be productive, shall we? What should we cook? She doesn't really have any skill, so I think let's start with a simple salad. So I have a mod for Saskia to do all of the cooking. That's part of running a house. I did also install a mod, which I wasn't sure whether it would work because of the growing together pack. Oh, is she actually cooking? Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, so another mod I've got in here is for her to basically teach the toddler stuff like talking and all the stuff that parents can do. I do think the latest patch has kind of made it so that it's not really usable, which isn't great. So we can't actually like teach Jerry to talk or walk. I'm guessing we can't potty train him. No, we can't potty train him, but we can give him a bath. We can feed him. So we can't teach him things, but we can at least take care of his needs. So Saskia's responsibilities include earning money to support the family. Oh, I also have a mod in that allows her to pay the bills. Don't do that. Oh, g disgusting. Hopefully she'll get a high cooking skill in this storyline. So yeah, she'll be doing the cooking, paying the bills, taking care of the toddler's needs. She's also got her homework to do. She's got to keep on top of that. Okay, Saskia, ah, uh, oh, we can't call to meal, which is annoying. We'll then pick up a serving for Jerry, and then parents, come and grab a serving. There we go, that's right, everyone eat up. Okay, the baby's fed. All right, Sass, I think maybe we should clean this up. That's right, Cinderella, let's go. Okay, we fed the family nice and early. It's currently the weekend, so we don't have to worry about school for a little bit, so let's go dumpster diving, see if we can get some money. I really want to try and get enough shit to be able to afford a YouTube station. Because then I can start getting passive daily income. Oh, the dumpster is empty. Alright, this one's got some deals in it. Okay, so Saskia, you go dive for deals. I'll keep the lookout and tell everyone else to fuck off. Hey, Nancy, off you go. There's always someone sniffing around the dumpster. Oh, that bin is totally full. Oh, we're going to get some goods in here. Electronic upgrade part, okay. Why is it, since we got here, 
The only Sims that have turned up are the ones that do not need to dumpster dive. So far I've sent away Nancy and Jeffrey Landgrab and Mortimer Goth. You guys don't need this. Stop stealing food out of the hands of a child. Oh, a counter. That might be worth a few hundred. A chair. Okay, okay. Oh, not now, Dr. Flanch, please. All right, let's go home. I actually think that was a really successful dive. I got loads of pop-ups for chairs. Oh, that poor kid. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. I know, I know. You need to use the bathroom. Go and take a bubble bath, and then you can give Jerry a bath. All right, let's see how successful our dive was. Now, I'm not expecting, like, a thousand simoleons, but a few hundred at least. All right, we got a little bit. And this little toy here, little Grim, isn't really worth anything. So, you know what? We'll give it to the toddler as a gift. There you go, Jerry. Fresh out the dumpster. Give Jerry a bath. And then probably you should start working on dinner. Time has just flown by. I didn't realise we'd spent all afternoon in the dumpster diving for deals. Oh, actually, it looks like Jerry's quite tired. So, you know what, Jerry? You take yourself to sleep. And then Saskia... You can serve dinner. Uh, let's go. Let's go mac and cheese. Hopefully you don't you don't start a fire. Kids can't die in a fire, right? Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh shit. Well, I guess she can. I guess she can. I guess she can start a fire. She's not catching fire though, which is good. Oh, I can't even wait. Can I unlock the door? Allow access to household. Okay, great, great. So adults, come and extinguish this fire. It's okay, Saskia. It's not your fault. I know I put a lot of responsibility on you. We'll try again. We did make a little bit of money from the fire, but I'm pretty sure we're going to spend more than we made on replacing that stuff. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we can't even afford to replace the counter, so all that dumpster diving was for nothing. All right, you know what? You're just going to keep doing salad until you get past cooking level one, okay? Oh, she's reached cooking level two. Now you reach cooking level two. Well, seeing as she's at cooking level two, let's try mac and cheese one more time. I'm sure I won't regret it. You can't have two fires in a row, surely. I do think everyone else has gone to bed. Oh, well done, you did it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll just put the mac and cheese in the fridge, and then I'll get it out for everyone for breakfast in the morning. All right, Saskia, good night. Let's hope you don't get a monster under the bed, because no one's going to help you if you do, Miss Independent Woman. Night, everyone. Night, God bless. All right, it's kind of the morning. Um, we did have a nightmare because there was a monster under the bed, but whatever. Oh, are there no leftovers? Oh, okay. Right, Saskia, come get some leftovers because your brother's hungry, so we've got to get some food out for them. I think Dad's hungry as well. Mum's all right. She snuck in a few biscuits under the couch cushion, so she's fine. It's just Dad and the infant that needs some food. Don't slam that door. Okay, pack that into a sack lunch. Don't eat it. That's not for you. And then Dad can unpack his lunch and he can eat his mac and cheese. A real ass about elbow way of doing it, but I like to keep the kitchen locked. Also, I quite like the idea that before Saskia goes about her day, she makes a little lunch bag for everyone in the family. Here are your rations. Here are yours. Right, I know you didn't get much sleep because of the monster under the bed, but you know what? We have a busy day ahead of us. We actually ended up losing money yesterday because of your little hiccup in the kitchen, and we still have a counter that needs to be replaced. So we are going to be dumpster diving all day. She looks so grown up with her little glasses and her bathrobe. She just seems like such a mature kid, you know? She doesn't even wear, like, cartoon pyjamas. She just wears, like, neutral colours, like a middle-aged woman. The dumpster is empty. Oh, fuck sake. Fine. Where's the, where's the bench? I mean, she could just nap in the dumpster, I guess. Fine. Nap in the dumpster till it fills back up again. Okay, yes, we can dive for deals now, finally. Right, wake up, Saskia. Dive for them deals, girl. I almost feel like children should get a fun boost when they're diving for deals in the dumpster. Because I reckon a lot of kids would like doing that. Kids are gross. They love shit like that. Oh, there was nothing in there. All right, let's go to the last dumpster and see what we can find. Hopefully we find something. All right, dive for deals. Don't even think about it, mate. Just walk away. Okay, I think we found everything we can get. I don't think we got a lot, though, which is a shame. I'd be surprised if we can even replace that kitchen counter, let alone pay the bills tomorrow. Oh, this isn't an easy life. Okay, go and take a bath, and I'll see how successful that was. Oh, one chair. 
All right, we got a little bit. Uh, so we will we'll replace this. How much do we need for those bills? Show bills information. Oh, 466. Oh. Right, go and play with your little unicorn to try and have some fun. Yeah, we got to make sure that we don't have, like, the power cut off or anything like that. All right, take a bath and then we'll we'll make some dinner for everybody or some lunch. We'll just do Frank and beans. We'll keep it simple. And then we better go out dumpster diving again. I don't know how much of a waste of time it is having a bath right now, but but we've got school tomorrow. You know, we don't have the luxury of time. And tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, no thanks, Welcome Wagon, you can fuck off. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, is when the bills are due. So we've got to find, you know, 400 simoleons. We've got to pull 400 simoleons out of our ass. Somehow, some way, somehow. All right, we'll just stick this on the table. Everyone, help yourselves. Okay, hunger's full. Oh, I'm sorry, Saskia, I think we got to head back out. We don't necessarily have to pay our bills tomorrow. Like, they give us a little bit of a grace period. But she is going to be at school, and I don't want her taking any time off. So we'll just have to see what we can find. I'll be happy if we get, like, at least 200, 250. Dumpster's empty. Okay, just go nap in it then. Got low energy anyway. I don't know why she's, like, kicking around in there while she's sleeping. Maybe she's, like, a sleep thrasher. Okay, this trash can is empty. Time to move on, Sass. Let's go. Oh, she found a desk. That's got to be worth something. Oh, that was a good find, Saskia. Well done. Dive for deals. I'm hoping that I can make enough money to cover the bills and also finally start saving for this YouTube station so that we don't have to leave the house every day, spend every waking moment sifting through trash. Denise is thinking about trying for a baby. No, don't put any more of that responsibility on me. Irresponsible parents. Oh, we found a table, a desk chair. Oh, we might actually have enough to pay the bills. Yeah, I know, I know. You're not happy about being filthy, I know. No one said this was going to be an easy life. At least you're not in an inbreeding challenge. Okay, this dumpster's empty. There is one more that we can check out. And then we'll go take care of your needs, okay? Oh, this dumpster's empty already. Okay, fine. Just go home then. All right, you can go to the toilet. You could take a bath. I'll get one of the parents to spray the monster under the bed so you get full night's sleep. All right, let's take a look, see what we got. <gasps> 1,000 simoleons for this chair. Oh, she did so good. What about the bed? 25 simoleons, 385, 850. Oh, look at that money. We're never going to have to dumpster dive again. Okay, let's get the video station. Okay, perfect. And we have enough to pay the bills as well. Okay, the kid really needs a bath. So that's got to be the first thing you do when you wake up, Saskia. Sorry about that. Okay, give Jerry a bath. We're also going to have to get a load of leftovers to make sure that there is enough food lying around for the family to eat, Saskia. All right, go to school, have a good day. And then the rest of the family, you can eat these scraps that we left out for you, okay? Mum's hungry. Some franken beans for you there, Mum. And you guys, you just... Get up to your own devices while we wait for Saskia to come home from school. I'm not going to intervene. I'm going to let them do whatever they want. Oh, who's on the phone? Saskia spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. Whatever, let her kiss them. She's got a lot of responsibility on her shoulders. If she wants to let her hair down for a second, let her do it. Okay, the house is still standing. Nothing's been set on fire. Saskia's back home. Let's pay the bills. Saskia's in a pretty bad way. But, you know, the family's got to eat, so hopefully you stay awake long enough. What should we make for the family? What would they like? Let's say We've done mac and cheese. We've done franks and beans. You know, we don't want to keep repeating things, do we? How about faux meat wellington? Family will want something new to try, wouldn't they? So let's get that apron on. Should probably try and film a video as well, get some passive income, because bills are only going to come round again. And of course we've got homework to do. Yeah. This kid has a lot on her plate, that's for sure. But you know what? It's nice to see a, a child taking pride in their cooking. She's sniffing it for flavours. Yeah, she's doing quite a good job, actually. Well done, child. What quality is that? Poor quality. Right, I'm just going to send her just for a nap rather than a sleep because she's got a lot to do today. So just take a quick power nap. Anyone hungry? Okay, we're into the orange now. That's better than red. 
Okay, she's awake. So I think let's do record video toy review. It's not going to be very good quality because she's going to be tense and miserable. <laughs> but just paint a smile on that face, okay? Just act like you're having a good time. Oh, it's almost Jerry's birthday. Oh, who's left this mess on the floor? Okay, we filmed our video. We still need to edit it, but you know what? The homework's got to be done as well. Oh, that bath needs to be cleaned and all. Right, clearly she's not going to do anything until she gets some sleep. So you know what? Let's just... Let's just everyone go to sleep. Okay, energy's in the green. I mean, it's not great, but we do still have quite a lot to do. Oh, wait, no. We don't want to upload the video yet. We need to edit it. Okay, go take a bath quickly. And then you need to clean up all of this. Did you actually get round to doing your homework? I don't know if we're going to have time now. We did have a school project as well, but that's not getting done. Living this way is actually quite challenging. I know, I know, you're broken hearted. I'd be broken hearted too if I had your life, Saskia, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Okay. Oh, she's got to go to school. She's going to be late. She's losing confidence as well. Oh, poor kid. All right, let's see how we get on managing our tasks today. So as soon as she gets home, again, the family's getting hungry now. So we're going to make a family serving of BLTs for everybody. Oh, I know you're tired. I know you're tired, but the family are hungry. <laughs> She's furious with me. Every chance she gets, she gives me the evil eye. She's even started swearing. But, you know, level three of the cooking skill. And we got some food now. Looks like it's pretty poor quality, but, you know. Okay, just go to sleep. Go to sleep and we'll deal with your responsibilities when you're rested, okay? Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to edit and upload this video. We also have to do our homework. And I think that's pretty much it. Before she goes to school, she also needs to serve up one more meal to put on the table so that the family have something to pick at while we're away. And then obviously we just, we've got our needs to fulfill. All right, go to the bathroom and then let's see if we can, we'll edit that video, shall we? This kid hates me. Okay, I think it's done. Yes, the video has been edited. Great, upload your first video, do your homework. All right, that's done. So all we have to do is make sure there's food on the table and fulfill the needs. So I'm thinking, Maybe if we play with a toy, just for a little bit, maybe an hour, go to sleep. Okay, I'll probably wake her up around five. Oh, she's woken herself up. Right, just play with a toy for a little bit then. Oh, play with a toy. And then maybe... Actually, there probably should be leftovers. We could probably just hand out some leftovers for everybody. When she gets home from school today... I'm basically just going to make it my mission to try and um, make her happy. That's the next step. Send the kid to school happy. We've already got a video so we can get some royalties at some point. We've done our homework. We're just setting out some food for the family. Okay, I would say take a nap for like an hour before you go to school. Okay, just take a quick nap. All right, now it's time to wake up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Turns out kids actually get pretty stressed when you, uh, when you put a load of responsibility on them. She doesn't look very happy, does she? Have fun! Okay, I think let's just sleep until you're fully rested. I think really that's the only way to go at this point. Everyone else is fine. So all we need to do is just make sure Saskia has food ready for everybody, does her homework, and is in a good mood for school. Okay, energy is yellow, so let's rustle up a, a casserole. Quick as you can, quick as you can. And then maybe we could watch a bit of TV. Oh, already the energy's going down. This poor kid, man, she just needs one full night of sleep. Oh, Jerry aged up. Well, good for you, Jerry. Oh, he looks so sad, because no one remembered his birthday. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jez. On the bright side, though, gruel is served. Right, grab some food. She hasn't been having fun for a really long time, so I'm going to let her watch TV for a few hours till that red goes a little bit more green. Okay, okay. Fun is in the green. Go and take a bath and then use the bathroom. Well, use the toilet and then go to sleep. So she should wake up with pretty full needs. Hopefully we can do our homework in that time. 
It's just kind of impossible to make this kid happy right now, you know? Probably I'll wake her up about half five. We'll get a start on breakfast, do our homework. Right, we're all in the green. Serve breakfast. Um, let's just do fruit salad. Make it easy. Make it easy on yourself, girl. Right, everyone, grubs up. I would actually suggest, if you are looking for something you can do in The Sims 4 that is actually quite challenging, I would recommend doing a challenge like this, because this has been a struggle. There are loads of different mods that allow children to cook, that allow children to pay bills. Just adds a different, different level of challenge, I feel. But you know what? I think I've had enough of a taste of this. So I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,